Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a live commentary where I'm going to be talking about the Warrior uh, as we watch the Warrior 1 to 100 video that I have made. Uh, I would like to thank everyone uh, on my team who has donated me cells to make this video possible. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate it. Uh, you didn't get much cells during the time of the uh, Warrior, like when when Warrior cells were out. And like they, they, you know, like with the with the Galante. I mean, like with all the other cells, you didn't get that much. You got like one cell per video, uh, and it means a lot to me that you guys donated. Thank you very much. Uh, now, getting to the actual talking of the warrior. Warrior kind of functions like Fenrir. Uh, if you ever used Fenrir, he uh, he focuses mainly on giving debuffs, really high single target damage, and uh, a single target triple damage buff that also stuns you. You'll most likely see someone with immune to stun, or like somebody pairing uh, Fenrir up with something like Kalik uh, to prevent them from being stunned. Uh, so you can just have a really strong attacker that one hits things. <laughs> Uh, uh, Warrior kind of functions a tad bit different in the fact that he can't, he gives bleeding, but he doesn't give nightmares with that bleeding, uh, and he can't spam it, uh, that's a huge difference, uh, I highly recommend not running the bleeding move, uh, simply because earth monsters tend to carry shield moves, it, I, I just feel like it's, it's too irrelevant, uh, even if you bring it to like an Aura, it's it's still irrelevant. He's got shields, uh, and you can run the Meowgat, but you can bring uh, unbreakable shields uh, for like okay, like for example, a tomb has double life, and you know return damage and stuff like that. Aros has a life regen move. Uh, you, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you can. It's I I just I simply don't like the uh, AOE bleed. His single target move also like uh, enchanted axe here uh, that I just popped up. Uh, it does it does bleeding naturally, and you can do AOE like you can do a precision move, uh, precision plus double damage, or you know anything that gets precision, and make that a hundred percent. There's there's no real reason to to get bleeding javelins. Uh, you gotta also keep in mind the bleeding javelin, uh, like the what you know sharp spears. I'm just calling it the bleeding. You know yeah right here sharp spears right here. Uh, it's on a three turn cooldown, 37 stamina, and it only does it does 35 damage. Uh, that's not bad, but uh, keep in mind the other move is 45 damage and it breaks the shields. Uh, so I find that more utility worthy. I, I find that better. Uh, you can run both. You can run both. That's also a thing. But keep in mind if you're running uh, brutal javelin sharp spears. And unbreakable shields, which I have on uh, uh, my uh, warrior for this video, uh, that's a lot of stamina costs. <laughs> uh, and especially if you're just running enchanted axe, too, a lot of stamina cost. You're you're using a lot of stamina. <laughs> uh, keep that in mind. Uh, you can run hard shield if you so wished. Uh, hard shield is the single target uh, move that gives a 50% shield and double damage. Now I'm going to say that's really resourceful for the warrior. Uh, it's not too good for anything else that's not running a life rune. I'm going to say that. And it, if, if they're not building damage to begin with. So you can only ever put the 50% shield and double damage on you, uh, the warrior himself or the damage dealer. Uh, it doesn't do the denier much good. Because <laughs> they're not building to any form of strength rune. <laughs> uh, for my uh, warrior build, I'm doing the extra guy build. Uh, which is a strength, life, and speed. Uh... And all that jazz. Uh, I'm also running Titanic Axe here uh, because it it rotates good damage. It's a single it's a single turn cooldown, 28 stamina, 50 damage move. What's more to argue? About? What's there to argue about that? It's also stuns too. It's a hundred. It's a for sure stun too. So you're for sure gonna deny something. Enchanted Axe isn't a guaranteed deny. Uh, you have a 50% chance to stun and or blind. Uh, blinding is more so of a debuff than a deny, but you have you know you have the chance to mi they have a chance to miss. It's not guaranteed that they they won't be able to do anything that turn. Uh, they can possibly still hit you. Uh, but yeah, I, I recommend running either hard shield and or unbreakable shields. I uh, unbreakable I will say unbreakable shields is one of the more resourceful ones. Uh, in the entire game, or like in terms of 40% shields, 40% shields just tend to be, you know, just give them a 40% shield, that's about it. They didn't, they never really gave anything else before. Uh, I, I think this might be the first time they've done this in terms of shields, I don't or no, I don't know, but uh, he is, the, the main point is his shields apply another effect. I, I think that's neat, that's very unique. If this is the first time, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, that's the first time they've done that before, where it, it shields plus something else. I find that neat. Uh, now you could say like the ultimate, but I, I'm just saying in terms of basic skills. Uh, as you can see, I put the 
uh, strength, life, and speed. Uh, I might. Uh, I'm gonna change the runes later. Uh, I got gems, so I can I can change the runes on that. I think I'm gonna give them like X runes to make them cool. <laughs> I really enjoy this monster. It's a really cool monster. Uh, unbreakable shields. Uh, but yeah, okay. So this is the first fight. Um, I don't know if I, I don't think I, I don't think I have to explain any more else with the moves. Uh, this is more so, uh, there's no, uh, okay, I got another thing to note about it. There's no definite way to build the warrior, right? Like, you can build, it's a monster, it's one of those monsters that you can build them any way you want, and you, you'll still have a good monster at the end. Uh, I just chose to be what's the most optimal for the rune build I have chosen, uh, with his strength, life, and speed. Now, a lot of people don't like life runes, in fact, I'll just imagine getting a comment at least, like, dude, that's a terrible build, just build them two damage and a speed, life is worth, yada, yada, yada. It, you should really consider the fact that skills with the shield, he skills with his AoE shield, I think that's relevant, I honestly think that's relevant, that's a great, that's still, that's a good idea, uh, well, what else is there to say? Uh, but yeah, my my build kind of just represents my overall, you know, just overall, you know, best optimal choice for the monster in terms of move set. Uh, again, you can run uh, hardened, hard, hardened. I mean, no, it's not hardened shield. Hard shield. Uh, it's less stamina and it's more so oriented on the idea of putting it on the warrior himself and or the attacker. Once again, I've said that. I just like to repeat it. <laughs> uh, Let's get to this fight here. Uh, there was a Barbatos, uh, Kevin, and Nishant's pet. Uh, I, I killed the Barbatos right away just because I know the the other two can't possibly do any damage to me or like kill me at all. Uh, or like you know one shit and I, I'm not gonna get like like Master of Pain upon. <laughs> uh, uh, this I, I did this kind of build here, this uh, demise in Plymouth and Warrior. Uh, simply because they have, they both, like, Demise and Plymouth both have life regen, so I possibly would have life regen up the whole game, uh, along with, you know, my AoE shield, and they're not doing any damage to begin with. You know, I, I just kind of thought of that. Uh, I didn't think of the fact of being, like, I, I totally got trolled in this fight. <laughs> I, I, like, the same thing happened twice. I got AoE, I think I was, like, either AoE freezed or stunned, and then I got AoE possessed again. <laughs> so, uh, that was, that was really trolling. I don't, you see, I think, uh, I don't know if, like, the... No, I got no, I no, no, I got a waste on toys. That was the thing. I so <laughs> the same event happened where uh, Warrior got so yeah, I'm gonna get like possessed. See, <laughs> see, <laughs> I, I I got you, dude. I tell you, I got trolled twice <laughs> in this fight. Uh, I really wanted to emphasize the idea of having life regen up while also having unbreakable shields up, uh, just increasing all the damages that my monsters do while also being very tanky. Uh, this wouldn't work at all in a sense of fighting anything that does AoE freezing, like, just solely, like, freezes, like, you know, Frostbite and Stamina Drains, you know, like, Frostbite <laughs> and Thieves. <laughs> uh, but, uh, for the most part, it, it kind of worked. Uh, I'd say that, that, that was just the hugest problem was dealing with things that, uh, or, like, you know, that's the freezer. I think that was the, that was the only real problem. Things that freeze and possess too is also a problem. Things that possess too is also a problem, but, I was, yeah, <laughs> you can see you can see in this example here. That's exactly what I've, that's that's happened. Uh, he, he, this guy got his ultimate twice too. That's funny. <laughs> I just like to point that out. Else, horrid. I'm under the debuff too. I think this did a lot of damage to Plymouth. Uh, oh, it actually didn't. Never mind. <laughs> Is he like under bleeding? No, he's under bleeding too. I have the debuff. Of, oh, that that realistically did no damage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was that fight. Uh, I'm probably do that in the live stream in the future. That same team again. Uh, so this is, uh, this fight, uh, in this fight, I really, I wanted to test out, uh, this, uh, you, you see the warrior, like, this build specifically, uh, it's kind of stamina heavy, uh, so I had, I brought a monster that gave stamina regen, and I also brought another one that gave me double damage plus precision, uh, just to show you guys the brutal axe, uh, the, like, you can apply, like, every single effect if you're precisioned, uh, if you got precision on you. Uh, I also wanted to, I also got his ultimate too, so I, I wanted to show that, uh, I, 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 like, it was like a, just a coincidence, and it was like, hey, why not show everybody the, like, what his ult does, uh, it, it says, see, the thing, it says it gives everybody precision damage boost, that actually just applies to him, he only gets the damage boost and precision, uh, which actually helps him a lot, I'm gonna say that, it helps him a lot, uh, in the case that, you know, he can actually land enchanted axe, I mean, like, it gives him a guaranteed enchanted axe land, which bleeds, stuns, and blinds, which is really nice, uh, uh, what was I gonna say here? 
I also had a lot of deny. Again, I had a lot of deny here. I did a lot of damage because I had double damage up. Uh, what was I going to say here? Uh, <laughs> sorry if I'm thinking. I'm, I'm currently watching the video as I'm, I'm recording this video. Uh, <laughs> which sounds weird, right? I'm watching the video as I'm recording this one. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, I also brought uh, I brought Incognita too uh, to also remove negative effects. I know I know it's kind of redundant to apply stamina drain twice, you know, all that jazz. But in case of the event, I lose it and or like I get debuffed you know, or debuffed. Uh, this is actually the end of the fight. I'm actually here's I uh, actually no uh, that's a while longer. This is actually the part where I applied the AOE shield. Uh, now, normally, when you apply damage while you have double damage up, it gets rid of the buff. Uh, I don't know if they fixed this, but uh, his shield actually gives the damage buff, too. He gets the damage boost, and they, they still have their double damage. I find I, I found that neat. I, I, this is kind of why another reason why I built this team, too, was to see if that was the case for this AoE shield, which it isn't. So that's cool. I think it, it might be either be, like, a very like a spe one of those special double damage, you know, like kind of like Demises, where if you have, like, a double damage on somebody and you use your extra turn move on them, uh, they still have their double damage plus now Demises double damage, <laughs> which is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, ridiculously good for you. Uh... But yeah, I kind of just wanted to see that for this fight, um, and it worked pretty well. I, I, this fight was, this one went a whole thousand times better than the last fight. <laughs> uh, and the example was better performed. Uh, I, didn't, I wasn't able to perform the last one too well because of the, you know, denying and shit. <laughs> uh, but this fight worked significantly better. Uh... Okay, so this is actually the most important fight of this entire video. This was the money maker. I brought Kalik and I brought Atlas. Uh, the, the only thing I changed was I instead of bringing Cognita, I brought Atlas. Uh, this was a really, I think this was really relevant. So attuned, like uh, Atlas has the trait attuned. It's the worst trait in the entire game. Uh, it doesn't proc all that often. Uh, it's only 15 stamina. Uh, it was relevant for this fight. <laughs> I was up against that, you know, 115 Bella VIP monster. I think that. I think that metalhead was 110. I can't remember, uh, but yeah, was, that was the that was the situation and I was in. I got really lucky. I got my ultimate. <laughs> I got my Kalic ultimate freezes and AOE stamina drains. OP is shit. <laughs> uh, I got I got lucky there uh, in terms of just being able to deny stuff. Uh, which was in my favor. Now, uh, I don't know how many Earth monsters have an AOE shield that gives. Uh, I mean, like it's a uh, Earth-based AOE. Uh, but I was able to use my AOE shield on. I mean, use, I used Warrior's AOE shield and a proc attuned on Atlas. And as you can see here, I have Cold Blood. I apply Cold Blood, uh, which gives me stamina regen and accuracy. So I was actually able to move. If uh, any other situation, I would not have been able to move. Uh, Attuned becomes very, very rarely relevant because it barely procs and it doesn't give that much. But when you have stamina regen and then you have someone that can proc it, uh, that's really nice. Atlas himself can also proc his own uh, attuned. I mean, in all honesty, he's one of the very few monsters that can actually, actually get anything out of attuned. Just it might be you know it's, you can proc it one, but hey, you can proc it. <laughs> uh, Earth monsters tend to not do any earth damage type mode, you know, to, you know, people use a tomb, and they mainly just chip people with the maces most of the time, and the only time they, you know, do that is, you know, they always stun, you, you get my point, usually, usually a tune over procs when something bad happens, you know, you get AoE stunned or shit, <laughs> uh, so being able to self-proc it is really great, uh, in this situation, I can proc it twice, <laughs> uh, and both times I was actually able to benefit from it, I was able to move, which is really relevant, uh, now I'm gonna say if this thing had super attune, that's gonna be a thousand times better. I will say this combo if you if you don't you know you know you're not a fan of attune anyway. But not many people are anyway. Uh, but the new like ne ne nemesis monster, uh, the earth based one, you can use uh, the earth based nemesis with this uh, with warrior, and it's gonna work really nice for you. <laughs> it's gonna work exceptionally nice for you. Uh, warrior is gonna be immune to freeze. Uh, you know he's already immune to stun, which is really nice. Uh, you know because you know. Uh, you guys, you know, you got that, you know, and ne uh, Nemesis does that whole immunity to freeze AoE. Uh, so it combos well with Warrior. I'm going to say if you do get the Earth-based, uh, uh, no, I keep saying VIP, but if you get that monster, you should totally pair it up with the Warrior uh, and or things that can do Earth-based AoE shielding. Uh, it would help you a lot, in all honesty. It's going to help you a lot. It's, it's, it, that comp is going to be really strong, especially if it's not brittle. Uh... 
Is it weird to say I was actually having uh, this was the, also the funnest fight too. I was actually having fun being able to proc a <laughs> uh, how, how many people can say they had fun at a fun game with a like you know have, being able to proc a <laughs> uh, like you know stamina dude and it's, it's it's it feels great man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say the uh, the the give back is also better too if you run something with super attuned and it's earth based monster like again the nemesis monster. Totally try it out if you have it. Try try this combination out. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Uh, we're getting near the end of the fight, uh, as you can see, uh, so, how many minutes left, we got, uh, we actually got a minute, we got a minute left, we got almost a minute left, uh, so I guess I should say some, uh, last statements, overall, the warrior is really nice, he's a really fun monster, uh, the ultimate's well designed, I, I like the ultimate, I mean, not in terms of, like, the, the mechanics, you know, just, but the design's really cool, he, he summons, like, his, sp a spiritual head of himself, and just acts rain, Axes rain down from above. That's funny. <laughs> uh, you could say it's the alt the enemy never axed for. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, the weight of the world too. <laughs> just as I just as I said that joke, the whole world came crashing down at that. All right. So that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I might do more uh, commentary one to one hundred videos in the future when I possibly can do it. So yeah, I'm Did the Awesome. I'll catch you guys later.